First of all, there's low colostomies, and these low colostomies can be, the patient can almost train them. They can irrigate every day, and nothing comes out then during the day. So it's not like it's, you know, smelly or, or a problem. And I, I've had patients where they just put a little Band-Aid over it and live very normal lives. So I think the concept of colostomy is not as bad as it usually is. I mean, in some patients where there's an emergency operation and then they put a colostomy right in the middle of the abdomen and the stool coming out, it's, it's a, it is a miserable thing. But that's not the usual situation for a colostomy, or shouldn't be the usual situation. In, in places where a surgery is done correctly, uh, that type of col- colostomy should not be done unless it's being done to protect the anastomosis, which means where they're putting back the two pieces of bowel. So they're protecting that with a colostomy up higher with the hope that in the future they will close that colostomy. So that's the only reason to use one of those high colostomies, really. So this sounds like something that patients need to be aware of so they can discuss that with their doctors. Yes, because remember, it's very low, and, and to do it correctly and preserve the nerves, because there's nerves there to the sexual organs and other nerves that they want to preserve, is done better in certain big institutions and by certain very well-known surgeons. So rectal surgery is an art. I mean, it should be done by physicians that are very familiar with it. And there are studies more in Europe than in the States that show the results really depend on who's doing the surgery. So in surgeons who just do one rectal cancer a year or something versus a surgeon who does, you know, 50 a year, the results are much better in the one who does 50 a year. So The outcome is much better.